of these things. Yeah, I use these every election. Actually, how do you make these things? Well, it's the darndest story. <laughs> oh, hello there. I didn't see you. But you've come to the right place. So I hear that you want to make a voter guide. Seriously, people, even a monkey could do this. That's why I have five easy steps for you to follow. Step one, find out what's on the ballot. Check with your elections bureau. Check it out on the intertube. It's usually a mix of propositions and candidates. Fun stuff. Step number two, divide and conquer. Split up the research and get some friends together. No, you don't want to do all the work yourself. You do have friends, don't you? Well, I guess we're at that on step three. <laughs> so basically, you want to share the research and um, figure it out, okay? So get on it. Get on that. Well, that was fun. And now we're on to step four. Make a zine. Make it legible, know your audience, and make sure it's the right size. Like this is too big. It's the size of California. You want something that is practical. This, also not practical. Think pocket size, pumpkin. Now this is what I'm talking about. Well, I hope you've been able to keep up, kittens. Step five, distribute i.e. make it rain! We're talking about handing it out everywhere. Everywhere, kittens. At school, during the morning commute, organizing a pub crawl in your neighborhood, or anywhere there's eligible voters. Get your acts together. Make it rain. Rain. But remember, none of your hard work or rainmaking will matter if you and your kinfolk aren't registered to vote. You can pick up election forms at your DMV or at the post office, but remember, the deadline to register to vote is typically a little bit before the election, so you want to make sure that you don't forget! Thank you. <laughs> and that's how you make a voter guide.